everybody what's up so we're sitting down here at willow tree rv resort in south carolina um, it's in longs south carolina i guess it's about how many minutes outside of myrtle beach would y'all say this is 20 minutes probably 15 so 15 from north myrtle beach 20 from myrtle beach and it's raining right now but it, it doesn't matter because this is a beautiful place y'all check this out of course we got the Taj Mahal sitting over here with the Laramie blacked out ram over there being towed behind I'm assuming and uh, but look at this guys isn't it beautiful so they've got a lake that goes way around here it's huge and uh, they got a they have a beach they got a beach over here with the I don't know what you call them there the aqua glide you know inflatable I mean like high dollar inflatables for the kiddos and well, anyone to play on you can jump on a thing they got a slide i think they've added some more they've added some more aqua glides to the uh to the mix in here and let's see so they got a little boat house over here you can rent boats you know little you know just a little bitty john boats you can rent and you can paddle out here you can bring your own paddle boards and paddle out here the pool is right over here behind that fence and then they got a game room right over there and they have a the office in you know of course is right behind the pool right here but um we've been coming out here now for about oh 15 years i guess and uh, it's just very very beautiful but over here they've got um the small park models you know where you you buy the park model and you rent the lots i mean i'm not a big fan of renting a lot and putting a park model on it but that that's just I, that's just the way i am i don't really i'm not into that thing it just seems like a i mean it, it, it's for some it, it, it's for some people and some people it's not you know because you you got to rent the lot and you got to buy the the little home or the you know the, the park model put on the lot and then i mean some people have gone to the extreme of putting you know sheds and shelters and sunrooms and everything on top of the um you know park model by itself you know I mean, that's for some people, but it's not for me. I'm, I'm not going to spend my money on the park model that I have to rent a lot to put it on. And then if you want to leave it, you got, you got to try to sell the park model and, and turn the turn the lot rent or lease over to a new owner. So anyway, that's just me. But uh, it's a beautiful place here. Coming in, they've resealed the, the road coming in over here. So the prices here have gone up dramatically. And the only reason why we're here is literally because they um, they drop the spot to these motorhome sites by 15 bucks a night. So the spot we're in was 165 a night. It was 180. I mean, and by the time you bring your motorhome in here, and if you factor in the cost of your fuel, the maintenance on your RV, the wear and tear on your RV to get here, and then pay 180 bucks a night, I mean, you might as well get a hotel room in Myrtle Beach. So. RVing is getting very, very expensive. And these these RV resorts are now, well, in the summertime, they can charge the utmost premium for these sites. But we've been RVing for a long time and I've seen an upward trend in prices. It's like true inflation. So, you know, if you guys are, you know, if anybody's wanting to get into the RV scene, you're going to have to pay some hefty, hefty prices to, to rent some of these spots for a night. Um, it's just, the sky's the limit. <laughs> and I'm sure the park owners are seeing it that way. The sky's the limit. And, and they, can, they can bring in the bucks. And if you want an RV, you're going to, you're going to have to pay up, basically. But uh, we used to stay here six or seven nights at a time, but this time we're only staying four nights. It, it's it's gotten that expensive. So, but anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. It is it's a very beautiful park, and and I can't. I mean, they can charge what they want to charge, and if you want to come and stay, that's what you're going to pay. It rained all day yesterday, so we decided to go to Broadway at the beach and eat at Joe's Crab Shack. We got us some crab at, at Joe's there. We did a little bit of shopping at the flag store and then we went over to tanger we went to some of the outlet stores over there lululemon under armor um you know we, we did the whole thing and uh, then we came on back uh, later yesterday so 
this morning we got up and uh, I made some breakfast on the Blackstone griddle. It was really good. Did some bacon and eggs on the Blackstone. It was awesome. So now we're coming over here to the lake over at uh, Willow Tree. And it's a very pretty, pretty lake. It's got beautiful clear water. It's amazing. And when you get in the water, you can just see the fish swimming around the water there. So it's really pretty. So we'll get over here. We'll get over here to the lake and uh, show you what it looks like in the water. So yeah, check out all the um, water toys they got out here. They got all these Aqua Glide inflatables. This is like the high dollar stuff. It's like really nice inflatables. So all the kids and everybody can get on the inflatables and play. It's pretty awesome. Check this out, guys. All yeah, the kids are enjoying the inflatables there. It's really cool. All right. We're going to get in here in the water. I was in the water a minute ago before I picked up the camera. And the water's probably a good, I'd say, 86 to 87 degrees. So the water's really nice today. And hopefully we don't get rained out today. Like I said, we, we came here yesterday and it was raining pretty much the entire time. So that's the reason why we went shopping. But uh, hopefully we'll have some time in the lake today. All right, I got my noodles. Here we go. We're going to head into the lake. Oh, guys, look how clear this water is. It's amazing, isn't it? Check it out. There's some fish right there. As soon as you get in, get in the water, you see the fish swimming around. Check it out. Beautiful. See any more fish? Oh, there's a big fish. There's a catfish. Check it out. Huh? Oh yeah, you can feed the fish. Are you feeding the fish? Nice. I could probably put my GoPro in the water, but I'm not. I'm not really. I'm not ready to put my brand new. It's fairly new GoPro in the water. I know it'll do it, but I'm hesitant. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to bring you guys some content, but I want to save the GoPro too. <laughs> Yeah, and check it. Well, it's like a hydro, it's like a bicycle canoe. Check this out. They're over there on the, they're over there on the bicycle canoe going across this lake right here. The water's nice, isn't it? Very nice. I think it's about, who, who said it was cold? No, it's probably 86. It's probably, I think it's warmer than um, Jordan Lake was. What do you think? Oh yeah, definitely. I think it was warmer than the last day too, the other day. Yeah. Right. So it's definitely, um, I think it is warmer here today. But I mean, you are in South Carolina, so you're a little further south. And uh, the water, you know, it's been a little warmer. Been a little warmer down here for sure. I'm trying to get my new, get my blanket. I can't, it takes, here, can you hold this? It takes two hands for noodles, bro. <laughs> you should be my videographer there. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Would you be a good videographer? Mm -hmm. huh? You can talk, Kendall. Don't be scared of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Kendall, when she was little, she couldn't get enough of it. Oh, she wanted to be in the camera all the time. All the time. What do you think? There you go. I'm in the water. Is it nice? Hey, do you want some more noodles? No? No, you don't shake the camera. You just say no. <laughs> Winnie Kevin, he says he knows how to make YouTube videos. Where's he at? There he is, there's Kevin. All right. The family's uh, kind of quiet here. YouTube videos, you gotta keep talking so you can keep the audience engaged. They don't want it to see random video with no one talking about it. All right, I guess we'll end this one right here for a little while. If I got something else to talk about, we'll come back. But uh, all I can say is it's a nice day. Hopefully we can get some lake time in before it rains again. Because like I said, it rained. It rained as soon as we got here, it started raining, and it didn't stop. 
it rained all day. So I was telling everybody, we went to uh, went in Myrtle Beach and we went shopping. Did the shopping thing yesterday. So yeah, we're just going to sit out here and enjoy the lake today. That's what you come to Willow Tree for. All right. Catch y'all in a little while. Bye. Dog on the walk. All right, guys. So we're going to the deep end. Check it out. Look how far we are from the shore now. We got her. Oh my goodness, y'all are freaking out. Where's the turtle? Where's the turtle? Oh you're scaring the turtle, Dude, he's man. gonna get me. Oh he ain't God. gonna get you. Are you serious? Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God man. Are y'all scared of a turtle, bro? He he's world. over there. Come where? on. Where he's over there? there. Come on. Well, how do you know? He's way over there. He went over there. You scared him to death. Where? He's over there. Bro, I don't think so. Man, I cannot believe you're scared of a oh turtle. My God, really? Oh my goodness. That was scary. That's content right there. Definitely content. Did they bite? Well, they I mean, bite? they could snap at you, but as oh long as you gosh, leave them alone. No. Really? Yeah, they ain't gonna mess with you. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. I didn't know they bite. <laughs> oh my God. They're scared of a turtle. It's just a little turtle, oh man. We come out here in the deep end. It's the wildlife out here. <laughs> oh my Let's goodness. Go to the shelter, really? There's some hydrilla in this lake. Some what? <laughs> hydrilla. Seaweed. We call it hydrilla. <laughs> it's a lot of it. It's green grass. <laughs> Y'all check this out. Look how clear this water is. I mean, the camera is not even in the water and you can see all the way down. That's how clear it is out here, guys. It's beautiful. I think as the story goes, this was once an old uh, rock quarry, I believe. So I think they used to mine rock out of here for the Myrtle Beach area back in the day. Um, don't hold me to that, but I think I think that's what it is. If, if anybody knows how this lake at Willow Tree was made, please leave me a comment and, and, and let us know. But that's the story as I understand it. So, uh, I don't know. I guess it was a rock quarry. I mean, it's, an, it's awfully clear. And uh, I heard it was only about 20 feet deep in the middle but you would think if it was a rock quarry it would be much much deeper than that so i don't know if you guys know leave me a comment um about the lake at willow tree in south carolina i'd be curious to know the facts someone had to fact check that <laughs> all right let's get over here i gotta make my way over here to the to the rest of the crew they got one of these new, uh, they got one of these new aqua glide covered, I don't know what you call it, floaty, float things. I mean, this thing's been here forever. We've been coming out here for 15 years and this thing has not changed in 15 years. But they've added this, they've added this one, and there's a little kitty slide over there on the other side by the beach. So, but basically, on this side of the lake you don't have to wear a, a life jacket but if you're over there on the huge inflatables you have to wear you definitely have to wear a life jacket so and i can definitely tell where willow tree has added more features to the lake so that's nice i mean their prices have steadily increased here um over the years and this year they got really expensive but uh they're definitely trying to keep the park up but um, I also believe that they're they're really trying to compete with Carolina Pines, which is right right down the road down here. And I think Carolina Pines, their sites on average are 160 to 190 dollars a night during the peak times during the summer. So this is definitely right after July 4th. So this is obviously peak time for RVing. Of course, I think the rates go down. You know for the fall uh in winter you know because no one's camping so they try to draw the crowds or not the crowds they just try to get any business they can in the winter but uh yeah here's this new aquaglide thing they put in this year let's see this what do you think you like it yeah pretty cool i guess you can come out here in the water and hang out in the shade for a little while yeah that's something different i've never seen one of these hey they've got another one over here too see it so they got two of them yeah, these things are, I mean, these things aren't cheap. These things are super expensive. 
that's the reason why all these things you do with all these they inflatables. Have the anchors, anchors down. Yeah, they, they do have an anchors down too. Mm -hmm. Okay. They have them. But I know. It's, I mean, I don't know of this many, but yeah, they, they do have them. But they are. They, I know these things are super expensive. Okay. I'll cut this one off right here, and we'll come back and talk about Willow Tree later. So now we're in the pool area at Willow Tree. Y'all check this pool area out. That's the hot tub over there. It's a pretty cool little pool area. Is it warm? Oh yeah, it's warm. The water is a little warm. Nice. Feels like I have water in my ear. I want to have water in my ear. Water's nice and warm, isn't it? Got a hair on my mic. All right, so this is the pool area at Willow Tree. Check it out. It says, no lifeguard on duty. Swim at your own risk. <laughs> All right. And that's the pool area. Hey guys, if you like my videos, please subscribe. Please leave me comments um, and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Um, anything you can do to give a thumbs up and subscribe will help us out.